Hello again my friends, that elusive bastard Zhu is back in the tower, so let's see what he's selling this week. Now for the second week in a row, Zhu has no exotic engrams to purchase the tentacle faced douche rag, which is disappointing because I saved my motes of light for this very reason. So then this week, Zhu seems to be focusing on exotic helmets and thankfully each one is pretty damn good, so let's have a look at them. First up, we have the glass house, let's have a look at this thing's perks. It has Rain Blows, increases melee attack speed, Quintessence Transfer, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and Bathed in Light. Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light last longer. Now, depending on your Titan's chosen perks, any teammate who enters your Bubble Shield will be granted either Blessing of Light, which is an Overshield, or Weapons of Light, which increases damage on all weapons for a short period. Now, the Bathed in Light perk increases the duration of Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, which is pretty damn useful in PvP, so guess what? I'm gonna acquire this because I don't actually have it. Now, next up, we have Akliafar Symbiote, which, in my opinion, is the best exotic hunter helmet in the game. Let's have a look at this thing's perks. So, it has fastball, increases grenade throw distance, it has ashes to asset, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and this thing's unique perk, last man standing. Golden Gun gains one additional shot per use, which means you have four lethal shots to take down enemies in PvP. So then, let's see this in action. So then, if you don't already have this helmet, I'd advise you to purchase it. Now, next up, we have Obsidian Mine. Let's have a look at this thing's perks. It has energy projection, increases grenade throw distance, um, inverse shadow, increase super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness, and insatiable. Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb. Now, this helmet is widely considered the best PvE Warlock helmet in the game. If you'd like a full review of this thing, click the link in the description box below. And finally, we have this little beauty, Icebreaker. Now let's have a look at this thing's perks. First up, it deals solar damage, which is always a bonus, and it has no backup. Um, this thing cannot be reloaded. It regenerates um, ammo over time, which effectively gives you infinite ammo, an absolute beast of a perk. It also has Mulligan, missing a shot, has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine, and quick tr and uh, Icebreaker. Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to others nearby. Now, for me, this is Destiny's best PvE weapon and a solid contender for overall best weapon in the game. This is a no-brainer. If you don't already have it, hand over your 17 strange coins and get it. Now, I've already made a full review of this weapon, uh, and if you'd like to see it, click the link in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always... Until next time, Guardians.